Hey, it's Sheila Social Studies. Hey guys, welcome back to Sheila Social Studies. All right, so we covered the smallest call for independence, and that was the Mecklenburg Resolves, written in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. Now we're going to get to the one that's just a little bit bigger, and that's going to be the Halifax Resolves, still, again, written in North Carolina. So on April 12, 1776, at the meeting of the 4th Provincial Congress, North Carolina's Assembly authorized her delegates to the Continental Congress to vote for independence. At the same time, they cemented their resolve and intention on paper, writing their resolutions into the minutes of their meeting. These revolutionary resolutions have become known as the Halifax Resolves. The resolves were the culmination of a year of discussions in conferences at the county level across the colony, and it was the first official action by a colony, the colony of North Carolina, that called for severance of ties to British and independence for the colonies. They were unanimously adopted by the 83 delegates assembled at Halifax and were written into the meeting minutes. North Carolina's assembly sent copies of the resolves to its delegates who were assembled in Philadelphia for the Second Continental Congress and they became an important element in the push to draft the Declaration of Independence. The Halifax Resolves were important not only because they were the first official action calling for independence, but it also became important because they were not unilateral recommendations. They were instead recommendations directed to all the colonies and their delegates assembled at the Continental Congress in Philadelphia. Virginia followed with her own recommendations after the adoption of the Halifax Resolution, and eventually on July 4, 1776, the final draft of the Declaration of Independence was signed. William Hooper, Joseph Hughes, and John Penn were the delegates from North Carolina who signed the Declaration of Independence. Today, at least two copies of the resolves are known to survive. The copy sent to the Continental Congress was held in the collection of the National Archives, and the other is in the collection of the State Archives of North Carolina. So this was the second, uh, the second largest call for independence for the colonies. You remember that I said last time it was like an atom, an ATOM. The Mecklenburg Resolves from the county of Mecklenburg were the smallest. The one above that, the Halifax Resolve in Halifax, North Carolina, right off of I-95. And then we're going to get into what we just discussed here, the Declaration of Independence.